This screencast is on how to deal with a new problem on Twitter, which is persistent spammers and trolls. I'm Tim Farley of whatstheharm.net and skeptools.com. I'm going to show you the block and report functions of Twitter, but more importantly, I'm going to show you a better way to be more proactive about repetitive trolls using a text filter feature that's only available in some Twitter clients. I'm going to demonstrate it using Seismic Web and TweetDeck Desktop, but the same techniques can be used in several Twitter clients. I list all the ones I know about that work in the blog post associated with this screencast at skeptools.com. If you're not already viewing this video from that website, then seek out the link in the notes. This is the Twitter web interface. This is my profile on Twitter. You can see my name is Krelnik, K-R-E-L-N-I-K. And if I wanted to read Twitter using the web interface, I'd click Home at the top of the page. And this is my timeline. These are only the people that I'm following on Twitter, people that I've decided say interesting things. And uh, I can uh, scroll down and read everything I want to read. Now, there's no spam or troll problem in your timeline. Where the problem occurs is in the second tab, which is called Mentions. And when you go there, you see people who are replying to things that you've said and people who are retweeting your posts. But you also see posts that are potentially sent by people who you don't even know because anyone on Twitter who types your name starting with an at sign, so in my case at K-R-E-L-N-I-K, can send stuff to your mentions column. And some people have been abusing this feature to send spam and uh, just generally harass users that they don't like. So let's investigate who this guy is. I don't know who this troll is. And it's always worth it to investigate a little bit uh, because sometimes people make honest mistakes. Now, you may be tempted to click the URL or hyperlink that the person is including in their posts. I strongly recommend that you never do that. Hyperlinks or unsolicited links that are sent by Twitter and, and many other services, email and so on, are an excellent way to get viruses and malware installed onto your computer. So you don't want to go down that route. But what you can do is click the person's Twitter name, which is to the right of their avatar there, and you get this pop out on the right hand side. And there are a number of red flags that we can look for to see if this person might be a troll or a spammer. One is their avatar. If they haven't set an avatar, this guy has an avatar, a picture, but if they haven't set one, there'll be an egg there in place of that photo. And if, if there's an egg there, that's a red flag. It means this person doesn't care about their Twitter account and what they look like. So that's uh, red flag number one. The second and third red flags are these follower and listed counts in the middle of the profile. If both of those are low or zero, that means no one is paying attention to what this person is saying. Uh, that may mean they have a brand new account, but it may also mean they are making trouble. And down at the bottom, you can see their last three posts, and if you want to, you can see all their posts by clicking more. Um, but I've already decided I want to block this guy. He's a troll, as his name would suggest. So I click this uh, button that has a gear on it on the right hand side and I get two options that are useful to me. One is block and one is report for spam. Now block will remove the guy from my timeline or remove him from my mentions column and uh, I will never see him again. But what I really want to do in this particular case is report him for spam because he's sending the same link to everybody and no one wants to see it and so therefore Twitter needs to do something about this guy. And Twitter in recent weeks has actually gotten quite good at dealing with these types of troublemakers, sometimes disabling them within five minutes. So report them for spam and you'll be helping other people out. Now that causes another problem which is if this person is truly obsessive um, and they get their account disabled then they may create another account five minutes from now. And we need another tool to deal with that. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So let's switch to a different way of dealing with Twitter. This is called Seismic Web. And this is a, another Twitter client. Uh, it runs in a web browser, so you can run it on any system. And you can see my same mentions column, and you can see that same troll there. Um, and I can investigate him in the same way. I can click his name and I can see uh, the red flags on his account and I can decide if I want to block him. Now if I do want to block him, I just simply hover to the lower right uh, corner. Let me 
me scroll him a little bit hover to the lower right corner of his tweet and I get a gear and on the pop-up that occurs when I hover there I've got an option of report for spam so I can click that and report this guy for spam and he will no longer appear in my profile but if I want to be proactive I want some way of filtering him out when he creates his next account and I'm going to use his URL as a way to do that so I cl right click the URL and I'm going to pick copy link address and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go to the top of the column and there's a gear icon up there and if you hover on that and pick filters this gives you a way to filter your mentions column so that you don't see certain posts and what you want to do if you're filtering out trolls is set it to match all um, you also have the option of match any we want match all and we need to add a rule and since we're filtering out in the middle box we have the option of contains and doesn't contain we want doesn't contain so we want only the posts that do not contain this URL we paste the URL into the text box and click Save and now this guy has been removed and presumably I've hit block on him so I've done everything I can and because I have that filter in place uh, even if he creates another account I won't see him again now it looks like I've got another spammer here in the middle because he's got an egg let's look at his account and sure enough he's got zero following and zero um, followers so he looks like a, a spammer but here's an extra thing uh, seismic caches this information so this doesn't tell me whether or not this guy has been blocked already in order to see that I need to click this link in the pop-up so if I do that I see this error page instead of his profile which tells me that this guy has already been suspended from Twitter so I don't even need to click block that's the same page you would get on Twitter if you click somebody's name and they had already been suspended so I can add him to my filter by right clicking his URL copy link address go to the top of the page and go to the filters now one of the things you may have noticed is you get this extra box once you have a filter which gives you a quick edit filter link that saves you a couple of clicks and I simply hit the plus sign again again doesn't contain paste in the URL into the second text box and if I don't like that that uh, quick uh, edit filters link at the top of the column I can hide it with this checkbox and my column is clean so that's Seismic Web. Let's see how it works in TweetDeck. This is TweetDeck, which is a piece of software that you install on your computer. It is uh, available for Mac, uh, PC, and for Linux. And here's my mentions column, and we can see that same guy. So we want to do the same procedure, right? We want to investigate him and figure out whether or not we want to block him. So don't click the link. Click his name. This is what uh, TweetDeck shows us. Again, we can look for the red flags here. I've seen enough. This guy is a troll. Uh, when you want to block somebody on TweetDeck, you hover on their avatar, click the gear, pick user, and then you've got the option of either block or block and report spam. Right? And that will get him out of my timeline, but how do I filter him proactively? for when he creates his next account again I want to use the URL you can use any text in the person's uh, posts if they're being repetitive but URLs are your best bet because they're designed to be unique in TweetDeck we want to click this wrench icon in the upper right which is your settings and that gives us this dialog box I'll move it over here a little bit and what we want is global filter down here in the bottom we want this middle text box that says containing words and paste the URL in and you can see that my mentions column works instantly clears instantly if I scroll down I can find that I've got a different spammer in here and if I investigate him and I click his name you can see I get an error message this means his account is disabled so this guy has already been disabled I don't need to block him all I need to do is copy his link go to the global filter and you separate multiple URLs with a comma and a space and you're ready to go and that's how you block spammers before they create their account more details at skeptools.com and thanks for watching